Hey, what's up, guys? KSK Ryle here. In this video, I will show you how to install Kali Linux 2021 on Windows 10 using a virtual box. A virtual box is a tool that uses a virtualization technology that lets you run an operating system inside another operating system, meaning you don't need any separate drives or a dual boot method to install a Kali Linux. Now I will be using a Windows PC as my host operating system and install Kali Linux within a Windows OS as a part of Guest OS. Now this method is one of the simplest and easiest ways of up and running with Kali Linux on your PC or laptop. The only prerequisites for this video, you need any desktop PC or laptop running a Windows 10 or Mac OS. Now before getting into the installation procedure, make sure your processor meets the following criteria. It must be a 64-bit processor and supports a virtualization technology. To check if your computer supports a hardware virtualization, open the command prompt, then type system information and scroll to the end. Then here under the hyper requirements, make sure virtualization is set to yes. Now by default this feature is turned on on most of the modern computers, if it is not, then enable it from BIOS. That being said, it's time to download all of the files. The first link from the description takes you to the official website of Kali Linux and download the latest installer image file. Then the second link will take to the VirtualBox website. Go ahead and download the latest version of the VirtualBox. Now once it's done downloading all of the files, place it somewhere on your computer for easier navigation. Then go ahead and install a VirtualBox on the Windows computer. Once it's done installing, open VirtualBox and this is the default user interface of VirtualBox. Now we need to create a virtual machine for Kali Linux. To do so, click on new, then type the name of the virtual machine as Kali Linux or anything you fancy and then choose the type as Linux and set the version to other Linux 64 bit. Then click on next. For memory size, use at least a 2000 megabytes of RAM for Kali to run smoothly. Then select create a virtual hard disk option and click on create. The hard drive file type is set to be a VDI and click on next. Then choose the dynamically allocated option and click on next. Under the file size and location, allocate at least a 20 gigabytes or higher for Kali Linux and click on create. Now we have done creating a virtual machine. It's time to attach an installer image to this newly created virtual machine and start installing the Kali Linux. To do so, select the virtual machine and choose settings from here. From the sidebar, select system option, then choose processor and allocate a course to the Kali Linux. Now in my case, my processor has a four cores. I will allocate a two cores for Windows OS and two cores for Kali Linux. Now choose a display option, then increase the video memory to the maximum and enable 3D acceleration. Now choose the storage option, then select the empty DVD option and under the optical drive, 
select choose a disk file option and look for the downloaded ISO image file and open. Then press OK. Now it's time to start the virtual machine. To do so, click on the start button. Now keep in mind, when you click inside the virtual machine, the control of the mouse will be used by the virtual machine, meaning you won't be able to access the mouse cursor to operate Windows OS or host OS. To release the cursor back to the Windows OS, press the right control key on your keyboard. Anyway, inside the virtual machine, you can see the Kali Linux installer has started. Now choose the graphical install option. And select the language from here then choose your location and click on continue now choose the keyboard type I will set it as default to American English and click on continue Now under the network page, leave the hostname as Kali and continue. For the domain name, I will choose a nil for now and continue. It's time to create a new user to log in into Kali upon completion of installation. Type the full name here and click on continue. Now make sure you remember this username or uh, write it down somewhere. Now set the password for the user and click on continue. Now choose the first option to use the entire disk and continue, then select the VBOX option and continue. Now choose all files in one partition and continue, then finish writing the changes to the disk. Now this will start installing the base system, sit back and relax, it should take some time, do not turn off your computer. It's time to select the desktop environment for Kali Linux. For now, I will stick to the XFCE desktop. Then I will unselect all other options except the option that installs the top 10 most popular tools. Now this will speed up the installation procedure. Once it's done, click on continue. I will take some time to finish installing all the selected packages. Now after some time, you will see this screen to install a Grub bootloader. Here choose yes and click on continue. Then select the second option for slash dev for slash sda and continue and finish the installation of Kali Linux.
all right as you can see the installation was successfully done go ahead click on continue to boot into Kali Linux When you see the login screen, I type the username and password to start working with Kali Linux. Also, as you can see, by default, the latest version of VirtualBox supports the full screen mode of Kali Linux without the need of installing any add-on tools. Now, if in case your virtual box or virtual machine is not running in a full screen mode, choose the device option from the top of the menu bar and select insert guest editions CD image. Now, this will mount a CD icon within the desktop of Kali Linux. Go ahead, open the CD and copy all of the files to the documents folder or anywhere within the system. Then inside this folder, right click and open the terminal. Then type ls to see a bash script files. Then type this command to make the auto run script file executable. Now go ahead and run the auto script by typing this line and press the written key. Now this will install all the guest tools along with a full screen support will be added to the Kali Linux. Once it's done, reboot the virtual machine and should work fine. And that's it guys, this is how you install a Kali Linux using a virtual box in Windows 10. Well, let me know what you think about it. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get the latest notifications of my videos. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KS Kirayo. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye now.